Okay. I'm going to answer the question, the, the challenge that I gave uh, for chapter two. And I'm in my, uh, another class that I teach. This is uh, my agriculture class at UC Davis. Ohio gozaimasu. It's a class of Japanese uh, trainees, so they just say good morning in Japanese. So, all right, now. <laughs> uh -oh. uh, okay. So, what I, uh, my challenge was to, to tell me what the problem is with this illustration. So, you have, we have a deforested watershed, uh, and we have an intact watershed. And what it should be showing is differences in the water. And I'm going to explain that. So basically what happens, and uh, can you put it uh, up on the board here? Here we have an intact forested watershed. Thank you, you. Yep. Um, and basically when it rains, what we get is you get infiltration into the, gra into the soil and into the ground, which becomes groundwater. The water, the rainwater becomes groundwater and over the summer, when it's dry, as in this photo, there's blue sky. And uh, what happens is that groundwater then very slowly trickles down and keeps the stream full. So you get groundwater recharge, it keeps the stream filled through the summer. In the deforested watershed, can you come a little closer here? Mm, yep. you. Thank you. Uh, when you get rain, most of that water runs off the surface, okay, because there aren't trees there, it's just bare soil. And what happens is you get a big swelling of the creeks and rivers when, uh, when you have a degraded watershed like that, and it cuts the stream bank, and then uh, a couple of weeks, you come back a week later, and that water is really low because the water has all run off the surface. It, it's eroded uh, the, the, the soil into the stream. So during the storm, you see a lot of brown water. Uh, the water, the river is, or the stream is much wider during the storm, during the rainstorm. It washes away a lot of soil. You don't get very much uh, water going into the, the groundwater. And so then a week later, with, when it's not raining, as in the photograph, uh, you get much lower uh, amount of water in that stream because it's not being, that water's not coming from the groundwater. So the thing that's wrong with this illustration is when you have a degraded watershed and it's obviously not raining, this should be much lower. And there should be, a, there should be the stream banks will not look like this. They'll be cut and it'll be quite a bit lower and you'll have a, the stream banks will be way over here because when it rained, that water ran off the surface and it swells and it cuts a deep stream bank. And then when it's dry like this, you get a much lower, much lower, uh, excuse me, uh, water level in the stream. And so that's what's wrong with this. And the illustrator, of course, they're illustrators. They're not scientists are not ecologists. So that, and, and you're going to see that a lot in, uh, when you hike out in areas that are, uh, where there's timber cutting, where there's any kind of deforestation, where there's grazing by cattle, you're going to see this. You need to learn to recognize that. You're going to see in the, you'll be hiking usually during, uh, you know, a dry time. You're going to see a much wider stream bank, lots of rocks in here, and a steep, uh, stream bank and I'll try and get some pictures that I have of that versus when you have a forested watershed it's protected and you're going to have that nice deep stream okay that is the answer to the chapter two challenge thank you you yep so can you push okay. the button okay.